If you go through any type of traumatic event that literally alters your life, whether it be war or Ebola, it is going to evoke those emotions that nothing else can. And it's the same when you're talking to an Ebola survivor or an Ebola widow. You can see all of a sudden it comes right up and it's there and it's present. And they almost get this look in their eye where they're back there. My husband was Augustine F. Seku. He was 52 years old. He was a nurse aide. How her husband was the breadwinner. She has illness. And just thinking about now when she feels real hardship, she thinks about her husband. And that brings everything rushing back. That fateful week, I just imagine him when he came to me that day. He said, how what? Something going on in my clinic, I just imagine, I just see him, picturing him, telling me that morning. We lost four of our staff, oh, but I now well. I just imagine him telling me that morning. And then her husband started going from one clinic to another clinic without any precaution now, because he had to provide for his family. And unfortunately, when Ebola came, he contacted Ebola, and then he died. God sent his own son, and that son is who? It's Jesus. Samaritan Spurs is working with Ebola widows. Our project is called Ruth, based on Ruth from the Bible, who was also a widow. We help them recover emotionally, spiritually, and economically from the hardships that they have been through due to Ebola virus. They're trying to gather themselves together and start all over again on their own. If we lose our loved one, but what we should do? Depend on God. Every time I hear a new story or something more deeper from them or more meaningful that they share with us, it's leaving mark on my heart because I am learning about what they have been through. So when he died, I had no hope. Yeah, I felt nothing was left for me. <laughs> I wish I would have a picture. <laughs> they have these deep hurts in their hearts and Ruth is offering trauma healing. So we do Bible lessons, talking about the love of God, how Christ came and died for us, just the whole gospel of Christ, which we believe will help them in their spiritual and emotional healing. The first six months, we're giving them food, that is fish, rice, and oil. But then we'll do business training and then give them seed money, which we are hoping will take them through as they grow in their businesses. Samaritan Press, the first people, first people to run me a A, to give a full distribution. I said, God, thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you. You're very welcome. I was happy, I said, I know God is still there for me. Samaritan Press is teaching me that I have a hope. 